So we're going to demonstrate this simple idea of the deadlock. So let's say we have two um, resources. One is the projector and another one is computer. This one is, is the simplest case of the deadlock. So transaction A say, um, can I use the projector or act for the lock of the projector? And it's free, so it's granted. So now the projector is given to A. At the same time, transaction B say, can I use computer? Okay, then the um, computer is free, so it's granted to um, B. So after that, the A would like to also use the computer for its presentation. So I also act for the computer. Okay, can I use the computer? Okay, and currently it is granted to B. So this one say, no, you have to wait. And wait for whom now? Wait for B. Okay. Similarly, come back to um, um, B. B say, okay, can I use the projector now? Then, because it's currently uh, granted to A, so it won't say, no, you have to wait. Wait for whom now? Wait for A. So currently, we say that A is waiting for B, and at the same time, B is waiting for A. They're waiting for one another. In this case, it's called the deadlock. And if you create thread, and if you don't do the synchronizations uh, carefully, using lock, it will lead to that lock. So we're going to demonstrate these examples in Python like this. So we're going to um, demonstrate the that lock. So we're going to import um, um, concurrent future um, so this one is from, we're going to import um, thread pool executor to run the thread. But before that, we're going to define two classes. So first class is the projector. And we're going to define the init. We got, for this one, define self.lock equal, we're going to use lock. Import threading. Okay, let's format this code. Then equal to threading dot lock. Okay, so we have the lock over here. Then in order to use that projector, we're going to define a method which is, um, which is um, how do I say, um, acquired. To use it, you're going to acquire and you're gonna give the name. Okay, the person that would like to um, acquire. Okay, then, um, okay, so we're gonna say, um, um, self dot lock dot acquire. Okay, and um, after that, we'll say print. The projector is uh, granted to put the name over there. Okay. Um, then you're going to use it. Okay. Then you're going to use it for something. Okay. Then we're going to um, define when you finish using it. Uh, release. Okay, you're going to um, say Okay, we're gonna do this first um, Name is acquiring the projector Okay, and this one you say um, acquired and then if you can Acquire it, you, you, it's gonna say projector is granted to you. Then this one, to the name, sorry. Then the second one, uh, finish using it, then we're going to release it. So this, um, set.lock dot release it. Okay. And we'll print, um, um, name release the projector. 
Okay, so um, in order to use this resource, you need to acquire it, then release it. Why do you need to acquire and release? Because we uh, uh, we need to use lock. Why do we need to use lock? Because we need to synchronize. Why do we need to synchronize? Uh, you can see uh, my, my previous video for, for that purpose. Okay, um, in this playlist. Then similarly, we have another um, resource which is called the um, this one is called the computer okay and um, it's the way to use it it's exactly the same we just change this one into computer and this one is into computer this one is computer okay so when we have the two resources okay we're going to create our main in this main we're going to create the two oh um there is a task to do which is to present that to present and in order to present um, the person need to have two resources resource one and resource two you know, one might be the computer and another one will be the um, projector. So for this, we're going to um, say, um, let's say to do this, we're going to uh, take resource one dot um, acquire the resource first. Okay. When you acquire, you need to pass the name. Okay. So you pass the name then um you're going to do something first let's say time dot sleep for like um two seconds so we need to import time okay then um after that that's it that, that, you're doing something over here after that you uh acquire for resource number two and after finish using them, let's say time.sleep for another two seconds. Now you, you have the two resources and you would like to uh, complete the presentation. Bring uh, complete the presentation. When you complete the presentation, you're going to release them. Resource one dot release and resource two dot release. Uh, let me see when you release you need to pass an ms one okay then just look just look good just look you know you acquire for resource then you do something with acquire for resource do something with it then you release but but if we test that one we're going to create the two resource the projector equal to projector okay and the computer equal to computer then you create the transactions equal to we're going to create um, two transactions with three input so the first one is a second one is b this one is about using executor if you um, don't know about how to use executor check my previous video in this playlist and I um, would like to add for uh, a I add for projector first, then add for um, computer. But uh, B add for computer first, then uh, projector. Okay. Then if you do this, and we are gonna create with um, three pole executor um, max worker equal to two as executor. And we use executor map. You're gonna map the present method and to our transaction. So you run the transaction over there. Okay. And if you run this, you hope that. Okay. You hope that um, they're gonna be able to present. Okay, in two transaction. But if we run this, you can see A is okay a is acquiring the projector b is also acquiring the projector uh, the computer is granted to b the projector is granted to a 
B is acquiring the projectile again. Okay, and A is also uh, uh, is now acquiring the computer. But then it's not going to continue because because the uh, computer is now granted to B. Okay. The projectile is now granted to A. B is trying to request for projectile, but it's currently granted to A. Okay. And at the same time, A is acquiring the computer, and which is currently uh, granted to B. So A is waiting for B, and B is waiting for A in this case. And we do have a deadlock over here. That, that, that there is no more codes continuing to uh, be printed over here. Okay. So this one is the deadlock. Okay. This one is the deadlock.